Good morning, Capricorns. Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Sorry, I hope that didn't make a weird noise. I had to move the cord out of the way. All right, I have Tarot, the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. The world, the last of the major arcana. Something is coming full circle. An end to something that was very drudging. And because you got a Ten of Swords, both of these talk about a cycle coming to an end for something better to begin, you know, truly. So I really feel like you're finally moving on from something, maybe even moving, but I feel like you've been uncomfortable long enough and you're finally learned a long, maybe a really hard lesson about yourself, about other people, how, how to not try to, I mean, it's not like you don't want to see the best in people, but you don't want to. You don't want to do it so often that it's at a disadvantage for yourself because there is a tower reverse and a six of cups reverse. So I feel like there has been a very, very hard ending, a cold ending, something, it, it, cherry reverse. It, it just feels like a, a strong ending here. All right, let's see what's going on here, Cappies. Let me move this down so you can enjoy and well, hopefully enjoy your reading, even if you see your reading. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Capricorn, know a Capricorn, feel like being a Capri. Uh, Capricorns, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Capricorn and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It could resonate as the main story, and Capricorn could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Capricorn or for a Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages for the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is the energy for Capricorns that need to come out today? What is the energy for the Capricorns that need to come out today, please? What is the energy for the Capricorns? There it is, it flipped. Ten, seven of Pentacles, should I stay or should I go card? Six of Swords reverse and the Page of Swords. Hermit, I feel like you're really trying to make up your mind. Six of Swords reverse, King of Cups reverse. It feels like some of you, whatever you're in, it's not particularly fulfilling anymore. I do feel like something went cold and stagnant. Page of Swords and the Hermit might be looking for something better. The Hermit usually holds a lantern with a star in it. And I just feel like you're ready for that next step. But the Seven of Pentacles is out. Plateau, something's, I feel like something's kind of run its course in a job or a relationship. What's influencing the Seven of Pentacles? And that's Taurus, and Taurus is the King of Pentacles, which is your true pair there. What's influencing the Seven of Pentacles? Three of Wands, Aries energy. I really feel like you're you're ready for a change. I feel like you guys are seeing what's out there. Ready for that next step. What's the reason for the reading? Star reverse. No wonder. What's in the what's in the past? Okay, we look at that wheel of fortune and the king of pentacles, Capricorn, queen of pentacles reverse. You know, king of cups reverse. Okay, I'm kind of getting feels where this reading's going. What's on your mind? What is on Capricorn's mind? The Eight of Wands, moving on. Eight of Wands is fast moving energy, but the, no matter how you look at it, in any kind of tarot deck, normally the wands, even though it's fire, the wands are all in air. Even these umbrellas are operated by air lifting her up off the ground, which signifies that you, once upon a time, if you were a Six of Swords reverse, where you had a hard time making up your mind and reflecting on all the time spent in a situation and what's next, you definitely on your mind have your mind made up where you need to go to next. I just feel like there's this clear energy coming your way. I kind of feel the reason why I pause back here is some of you are waiting because this is a waiting card and this is a waiting card. But why do I get two different people? waiting for each other maybe some of you are waiting for somebody else to get out of something or they're waiting for you to get out of something what's in the near future oops sorry guys sorry 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 what's in the near future 
what's in the near future for the Capricorns? Take that. You know what? I don't think my phone's ever ring in thousands of readings I've done. Take that as confirmation for something. I do feel like somebody is also waiting on you. What's in the near future? Oh, I love it. You know why? Five of Cups reverse is a two of cups. But when she's upright, she's in the water looking to shore. This person's on the shore looking at the water. Very interesting. We have two different people going on in this reading. But with it being reversed and the seven of pentacles here, I feel like somebody's finally in on the shore ready to invest. Are you going to see somebody? Some, I feel like some Capricorns might even be surprising somebody here. All right. I do feel like you guys were with somebody that was very, very difficult. And I feel like you guys are just done with that. I, I really feel like somebody's waiting for you. If you know them yet or not. Seven of Pentacles, center of the reading. Seven of Pentacles, center of the reading for Capricorn. Two cards want to come out. Two of Cups, but the strength reverse. I do feel like there is a strong connection here, but you had to let go. My nose is really itching of some type of toxic person, a connection. And I feel like you had to clear that and you needed time to heal. You know, you had to get yourself ready to put yourself out there again. But for some of you, I feel like you haven't met this person yet because I feel like there is distance. And on your mind, maybe you're thinking of going on vacation, for instance, eight of wands. I almost get flying, literally flying somewhere. And then you're going to meet somebody. So I do feel like this is predictive going on here. What's the three of wands influencing energy? The six of pentacles. <laughs> Taurus waiting. It's man. It really feels some of you are dealing with this right now. Three of Wands is waiting for a ship to come in, but she does hold a ship. She's got a ship. So it's not like you need somebody. You're, you're fine, but there is somebody I feel Capricorn has their mind on. One particular, it's a, this King of Pentacles. Reason, reason for the reading is Star Reverse and the Temperance. How to get out of something that ran its course. It was unhappy. There was no fixing it. And a temperance is finally something's balanced again. I think it's within yourself, honestly. But I feel like when two people meet, there's a lot of give and take. And if you notice on the temperance card, it is a two of cups. Five of cups reverse is a two of cups. So I feel like these cards in a long way around, you have a two of cups even there. Okay, no, it's not. It's very specific. Two of cups, two of cups, and a two of cups. There's a two of cups here. <laughs> <laughs> and if you add it all together, you got a six of cups. That's a soul soulmate coming in here. Queen of Pentacles reverse in the past. You did you see how that card flew out? Page of Swords reverse. I do. Page of Swords reverse is a triggering. It's finding out. It's it's a bad news card when it's reversed. But I I get triggered. Something could have pissed you off. Um, someone could have stressed you out. And I just feel like you finally had enough and you had to break free from that for your own sanity. Eight of wands on your mind, getting back in, in, into life again here. Eight of wands on your mind. I get really do travel page. Of, ooh, page of cups, seven of pentacles reverse, no longer waiting, reaching out. This fell out too. nine of cups in the hermit reverse. I don't know, honestly, Capricorn, if you met this person or not yet, but if you have not met this person, but you got out of something that was pretty awful, pretty stagnant, double reverse, eight of cups reverse. And it, it took, it took a, a second to get out of it because I feel like they had you so upside down. You didn't know what was real and surreal going on because you couldn't believe anything coming out of, out of their mouth anymore. Four of wands reverse, double reverse, eight of cups reverse, and then the sun below that it's kind of like you saw the sun at a distance much like that hermit card right here but it seems so far away when you were in the situation and now you are so close to that sun that you're just pushing your way for the right with the eight of wands you're just like what used to take a lot of effort you're making a quick decision to say yeah i'm just getting on a plane or i'm just going to go on a cruise there are ships here um i just want to travel i want to get away even if it's by yourself and I feel like you really me. you're calling in a strong soulmate. You know what fell out? 
I just looked down because I, I saw a card fall as I'm talking, but I didn't want to lose my train of thought. It's an Ace of Cups upright. You have love falling out of the blue here. I know, is that cheesy or what? Let me get it. Is there any other card? And it fell right under the microphone stand. Very, very, okay. Nope, it's the only one. Ace of Cups and it was upright. If it was reversed, I have no problem playing reversals here. Um, no, Ace of Cups. You have love coming out of the blue, but you had to get rid of that toxic person. Tell me about this. Let me move this out of the way. Let's focus on the new. Five of Cups reverse in the near future for you. Who is this person? What is this about? Five of Cups. Let's. <laughs> I feel like that needs to be there because there it is. Scorpio energy. Five of Cups reverse in the near future for Capricorn. What is that about? Seven of Swords reverse. Getting away from somebody successfully. And the Page of Wands. You had to end that. Does Capricorn know this person? I feel like asking this. Does Capricorn know? That's a lot. Ooh, King of Wands, Three of Swords, Two of Wands reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. You know you do have an Ace upright, though. Some of you definitely know this person. I feel like somebody has really been there for you. Are you going to go see them? Are you just, the, some of you are definitely going to go see this person. I feel like somebody has been waiting, but they wanted you to make that decision. I feel like they've been a, a, a real rock for you, an anchor for you. But you had to make the decision to see, see that devil clearly. And like your, like that reading last week, it's not you. I mean, if you are a cross watcher and saying, listen, Tara lady, the Capricorn did this to me. Well, then that's your story and that's how it goes. But the way I'm, I'm really seeing these cards is it was done to a Capricorn. Of course, energy could be vice versa. And devil reverse and the three of pentacles reverse. I feel like somebody didn't want to manipulate you into doing something you don't want to do. Unlike the past person who had no trouble manipulating you nonstop. So I do feel like something terrible is ending, but something even magical is ready to begin. But you just have to believe in it. I really, and I feel like with this eight of wands on your mind up here, I think you're starting to, and you're, you're, or you're going to start to, you just have to clear this energy out. All right, my dears, have a great rest of your week, Cappies. I love you guys. Take care.